Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. So keep in mind that this is a very powerful week. We have a new moon and a solar eclipse on the 14th. So what do we have for Sagittarius? What do they need to hear? Give me an overall energy, please, for the week of December 14th through the 20th. What do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Ooh, Knight of Blades. So this is the Knight of Swords. So we, have, we may have a crazy person here. This person is kind of, I mean, this person looks a little crazy. So you may be dealing with somebody that's crazy or, you know, it's a crazy energy. This is somebody that is off the wall. You know, this person looks a little discontent, you know, kind of scared. This kind of could be a scary situation. Oh, no, what's going to happen next? Uh, yeah, so I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, almost out of control, thinks that something is funny. It's really not funny, you know. Um Oh, my God, what did I get myself into? That's what I see in this card. Oh, my God. What's going to happen, you know? What did I get myself into? So I feel like that's a strong energy here. Uh, you may want to defend yourself. You may want to protect yourself. You may want to stop something before it gets out of hand. Okay? You could be dealing with somebody who, you know, this person is a joker and they're not very serious and you need to, if you have this sense that they're doing something that you don't want to do, you may want to speak up and say something before it ends in disaster. Okay, it feels like it could, I mean, obviously it could end in, you know, a disaster. So I feel like you may want to speak up. If you sense that something is off, say something. Okay, but whoever you're dealing with, it feels like they're out of control. It's going to be hard to, this person is very good at trying to make you feel better. They'll be like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. You know, if you don't think it's fine, I suggest you say something. Anyhow, I think you're dealing with somebody that is very hasty, you know, very, very assert assertive, maybe even rebellious. This person, um, you know, I think you need to be careful, put it that way. In regards to your love life, in regards to your love life, what do we have? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you may have some new romantic feelings for somebody or you're with somebody now or you're feeling something for somebody. Um, they're very, very, very real feelings, but I see a level of discontent here. I do. I, I feel like you could be dealing with somebody and you notice the little dog is like, what are you doing? You know, I feel like this is you are in a situation that you need to be careful about. Okay, um, if you're going to get your hair cut, you might want to consider who you're getting your hair cut by. Um, be careful. Be careful this week. All right. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is out of control, honestly. This person could even be dangerous. You know, they could hurt you. It feels like they could hurt you. Um, we'll take those. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Rainbow. Bell. Announcement. So there's going to be an announcement this week that... Uh, tells you that the most difficult part of a situation is over, which is good. That's good. You are going to hear something this week. I, I feel like you're dealing about this person over here. This person is a, you know, doesn't always think before they act. You know, this is somebody who is very uh, flighty. Okay, so I think you've got somebody in your space that is very, very flighty. And I feel like that is who you have been, you've been having trouble with this person. You're going to hear an announcement about this person. Okay, this person may get themselves into trouble. That's how I feel. Alright, so 
let's get the cards. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. It's it's somebody that is very assertive that is going this, this person is going against the flow. You know, they're just it's a big joker. This is just a big joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. So this joker is is about to uh the joke's on them, put it that way. That's how I feel. You may even have somebody here that is angry. Ang and I don't think it's you. I think it's the other person. Um, three of Wands. Get prepared. Get prepared for something. Get prepared for some news or get prepared to take a journey. Um, something that you have been waiting for. You have been waiting for something. And this could be news. The Knight of, Knight of Swords could be news. An arrival. An arrival as well. There could be an arrival. Get prepared for an arrival of some sort. Or a departure. Death. Death. So the death, death is an ending. It's a major ending. It's a profound change. So there is going to be a profound change. Get prepared for a profound change. All right. That is that is that is a big, huge change. Endings lead to new beginnings. Death is a card of transformation. Um, get prepared for a major change in your life, because death is about life. You're about to hear something with an announcement about an individual that I feel like is out of control. You've got somebody that is out of control in your life. This is like a, a rabble rouser, you know, uh, somebody that likes to cause problems. Pick, 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 pick. Likes to cause people to feel uneasy, you know, likes to make people wonder. Anyhow, we have an ending here. We absolutely do. So we have a major ending here. Your life is about to change. There could even be a separation or a loss. There could be with the death card. But this leads to a new beginning. This leads to a new life. This is a new life begins, okay? There's definitely going to be a conversation or news arriving. There's some sort of news. Something's going to happen very, very fast. Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may be even receiving some money. Maybe even an inheritance may not be. But this is a payout of some sort. Nine of Pentacles is uh, a card of strength, perseverance, determination, hard work. So we have we have a very capable individual here that can take care of themselves. So I feel like you may some of you may be may be separating with this mirroring each other. You may be separating from somebody. Okay? And maybe this person has been causing you stress anyway. This person has been causing you stress. They've been making you worried. You know, they've been acting crazy. Somebody may have been acting crazy or they do crazy things. Anyhow, this is this is a separation. Some of you are going to be going your own way. This is taking care of yourself. Ace of Pentacles. And we have a golden opportunity here. This is an opportunity for success. Now, this is a money investment. Somebody is getting some money or they're going to be investing in something new. Okay. This could be some sort of abundance. Abundance or gift. Somebody may be given a gift. They could have, they could win even if if you play the lottery, you could you could win. Okay, this is prosperity. It's it's a new business, new job, a windfall, something like that. Some sort of payoff, getting a payout even, um, financial security, financial stability. So you're and this is going down a new path. This is going to allow you to go down a new path with it and be free. And be free. So yeah, I feel I, it is. Death card is really about freedom. It's freedom from something. Freedom from something that has been holding you back. It's a whole new life. So you do have a new beginning here. A new stable, solid beginning. Somebody may even getting a be getting an offer from a bank with that Ace of Pentacles. Or they could just be getting money. They could be getting money from 
an inheritance or a family or something like that. Um, but anyhow, that nine of pentacles is a very hard working individual that is very capable of doing their own thing. Some of you may be starting a new job or starting your own business. You have the skills to start your own business, you know, to do your own thing. Some of you may be seeking a new job. Maybe you've been dealing with somebody that is very, very cocky, you know, and you just, you're ready. You're ready to do your own thing, whether this is a new job or it's a relationship. Um, I do see a major change coming for you. Um, so you better start getting prepared. Get prepared. Whatever this major change is, it's very positive, okay, because of that Ace of Pentacles. It's a positive change that brings you security. It brings you stability. It brings you abundance because that nine plus that one is ten of pentacles. Okay, that is that is security. It's financial success. It's permanence. You know, a permanent home or a permanent uh, new job. Something that will last. It will last a really long time. Um, yeah. So, getting an opportunity that leads to a long-term stability. Maybe even a gift. You, you, somebody's getting a gift. Could be an approval as well. Um, the star, wish granted. This is help arriving after being, you know, experiencing a tower moment. So somebody's going to experience or they have experienced a tower moment, but now they're being blessed. This is a blessing. It's a blessing. See, somebody's being blessed. There's some sort of guidance here, protection. So somebody is being blessed. They're being blessed. Blessed with a new life, a new beginning. A new solid opportunity is coming for you. It's something you wished for. A wish is, is definitely going to be granted. You have, may have been wishing for freedom or wishing for a new life. Well, get prepared because your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been heard. Wish granted. This is a wish granted for, uh, I don't know, an approval or an offer or something that is solid. You know, this is a solid guaranteed success this is definitely guaranteed success there's a reason there's a reason why things don't work out there's a reason why things end i think you're wishing and hoping for the best with that three of wands in and you know that's prayers you're, you're definitely, your prayers are being answered. They are. You are about to receive an announcement that brings you some sort of permanent change. Okay, this is a permanent change. This is, this is the beginning of a new life. It's going to lead you towards prosperity. <sighs> wow. Wow. You're going to be saying that. Wow. Wow. This is a this is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls getting an opportunity that is not going to disappear. Okay, this is something you wished for. It's something you asked for. This is a long-term potential, okay? You're going to be living a good life after this ending because this is an ending. It absolutely is. This ending is a blessing in disguise because now your life is going to change for the better. So whatever it is, your life is about to change for the better. This is the storm is over and this is the storm is over. So the storm is over. And when the storm ends, your new life begins. No shit. Going down a path. Some, some of this, some of you, this may have to do to a, do with a home because it looks like there's a home at the end of this road. You're 
about to receive a big announcement. A big one. This breaks you free. It does. It breaks you free. The tower, the tower is a fated event and the tower comes before the star. It's interesting because we have the death and then we have the star. So I feel like there's going to be a tower moment that uh, reveals something, shakes up your world, causes this major change. You may feel down, you may feel depressed, but it's a blessing in disguise because you're going to, you're going to, you're going to heal from it and your new life begins. Okay, this is healing. You're, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed with something better. There could, there could literally be a, an ending in your life, okay? There could be an ending with, with somebody that, you know, you didn't see coming. Because when you have a tower, and the tower comes before the star, when you have a tower moment, you didn't see it coming. So this is something you didn't see coming. It's going to be sudden. There's, I don't know, for some, I mean, for some, it could be an accident, you know, maybe somebody gets paid off. Maybe they get, you know, get paid. Maybe buy insurance. I don't, I don't know. You know, there could be an accident where they receive some sort of payout. I don't know if that's the case for everybody, but, um, the tower is a major shock. It's a shocking change. Okay. Where something is revealed. Um, and, uh, everything changes, you know, this allows you to start with a clean slate. You may have been avoiding it, you know, with the tower. It's like you've been avoiding it. You've been staying in a situation that is not stable, not secure, unwilling to make that change on your own. Now there's going to be some sort of uh, change, okay, with that death card. That is a profound life change. When something dies, it's done. It doesn't come back, okay? So there could be some destruction, there could be some destruction. There's going to be a major ending in your life that actually is a blessing in disguise. Because now you're moving on to something more abundant. Some of you are getting a new job or you're getting a payout or something that is going to really um, bless you. This is like a miracle. This is a blessing. Seriously. Some of you are dealing with a queen of swords or a Libra, and it's a male or a female, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I've, I've cut it to this twice. This, I've cut it to this twice, so I, I now i got to mention it. So you're, you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, there's some sort of truth or a professional. There could be a professional. There could be a lawyer, a doctor, um, police officer, somebody, a professional speaker, um, somebody that is in a professional uh, position that is making a making I don't know I want to say judgment call um, but I do believe some truth is coming you're going to be seeing things from a new perspective very very soon some sort of truth is going to come out it's going to be a fact you won't be able to change it it's going to be a very intense time. It is. It's going to, this is an intense change. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like you have been in some sort of I don't know, shit storm. And I feel like the shit storm is coming to an end. I think you've been really stressed out in this place. You're dealing with somebody who thinks everything is a joke. This joker, I feel like this joker is leaving your life. I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. Good luck.